everyone. Chris and I want to talk about something that we love. Harvest Host and... Boondockers Welcome. And why? Absolutely. We love traveling, obviously. That's why we're in the RV life. But occasionally you want to get away from a massive RV park. Or you want to go see a winery, a brewery. There's so many more things in America that you can see when you travel. This is a program that has that opportunity in a way that gets you out of the big campgrounds. Yeah, we love this so much that we actually contacted Harvest Host. So we have a link for you down below in the description. If you do not have a membership, we can save you 15% off. Doesn't cost you anything extra. We believe in the program. That's why we're endorsing it. We started this, what, day three? of our journey basically yeah. once we got our valor last year the first thing we did started going to harvest host and we went up to georgia been to some areas in georgia that we had never seen yeah it's really neat we stayed at an artisan farm which is cool there were sunflowers it was quiet peaceful we were the only camper there they had a little store it's great because we get to support other local businesses all over the u.s when you stay at their location they just ask if you spend like a little money in their store and right Patronize the business, yeah. help them out. Small town America in most cases. Um, what we also like, who we meet on the road. It's cool because when you show up to a Harvest Host or a Boondockers Welcome, you don't know who's going to be there. It's other RVers that are like-minded, like you, traveling around America that want to do something a little bit off the beaten path. And usually, there's no hookups. It's boondocking or, in this case, harvest hosting. Or dry camping no hookups. There are some locations that actually do offer maybe electricity or mm -hmm. electricity and water or water. Um, we haven't really found a place that had sewer, but that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> we all have holding tanks and for a night, hey, we can all make it work. <laughs> yeah. We stayed at someone's home in Tennessee and it was great. They have a small little farm. It's a little family farm and we ended up hanging out with the folks around the campfire that evening and we were their first harvest host stay. Yeah, M uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee was a very cool location. Veteran owned farm and I'll tell you, they were great. They were accommodating, massive site. Yeah. Gated area, Cali get to run around and play. Can't stress enough how cool it was to just be able to sit down. And we actually managed to get a gift from them for Ashley that we purchased. Yeah, the wife does pottery. She's also a teacher and it was great. So we bought that pottery bowl for Ashley for Christmas and it's like one of a kind. In return, they also uh, gifted us with some vegetables and fresh eggs from their farm. Yeah, and just to be nice, we did some uh, drone footage of their house for them and gave it to them on a card so they have now 360 aerial views of their farm. As all things in the RV world, you know, it's give and take. We want to help each other out. That's what the community is all about. They had mentioned that they had a picture from that house when it was originally built before they bought it and how they would love to have an updated one. I know a guy with a drone. Yeah, and with this drone pilot license too. So we helped them out and they gave us a great place to stay for the night. And now we're friends. So yeah. you make friends along the way. We had a great evening, connected with them, and we're looking forward to staying there again. Absolutely. The best thing you can do for a Harvest host or Boondockers welcome host, leave a good review if you had a good experience. So just leave a review. It helps other campers. It helps us make decisions if we could stay there or not, how it is getting in and out. How the sites are, because that matters, are. right? Because mm -hmm. parking can always be a challenge. Sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes there's a bunch of trees. That's the benefit of the being out there in nature. Sometimes it doesn't fit your rig. Sometimes it does. So just do some research on that when you're planning your adventures. And it helps everyone out. And it's okay to upload pictures. They welcome pictures on the app. So Bennett Barn in Wisconsin, if you guys haven't stopped there, you need to. That place is incredible. It is a beautiful farm with an incredible barn that they host a bunch of different weddings. The venue there, I was just blown away. I had so much fun flying the drone there and getting pictures in the video of it. I thought it was really cool because the host, the way it was set up when we had that big old Valor, we couldn't get in where the host wanted us. So we contacted the host and we were actually going to be leaving. And the host was super gracious. It's like, hey, we own a gazillion acres. Just go down to the next pullout, spin around, go right there. So overall, if you get a chance to go to Wisconsin, check them out. 
Yeah, it was beautiful. They host a lot of different venues aside just from weddings and they have an older Airstream outside that they've converted to restrooms. We thought that was really cool. Yeah. And the cutest thing that they had there, they had little farm kitties and they were just adorable. The funny part was watching Callie. She's like, oh God, what is it? What do I do with it? And she so, didn't understand it. No, she didn't. And the little farm kitties followed us around and yeah. They, they were, were sweet. A, they were sweet kitties. Yeah. And that's just some of the other fun experiences you get to have. We never would have saw those little farm kitties if we didn't stay there. And if the host wasn't accommodating and allowed us a different area and a nice flat land to... Yeah, and it was right next to a gorgeous old church. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was just cool. And I guess that's really what we're trying to say is Harvest Host gives you opportunities for experiences that are outside the beaten path. And sometimes they can be in rural America, um, you know, as we all joke, the flyover states. But, you know, that's where the most adventure comes from. And that's where we gain the most uh, enjoyment for our travels is getting to see something that we've never seen. Yeah, and don't get us wrong, we still enjoy different campgrounds, but it's nice to kind of take a break and you're more in a serene, peaceful area. Most of the time there's not other campers, so, and yeah. you wake up in the most beautiful places too. Yeah, I, I love waking up to birds chirping, roosters cock-a-doodle-doing, and yep. yeah, it's uh, fun. Cornfields, wineries, it's just the places it takes you. Yep. We stayed at Twisted Vine Brewery, and where's that at, Chris? Des Moines, Iowa, right off the side of the highway. Super convenient on and off, level, concrete, all asphalt. Not everything's country. No, nope. and we did taste some of the wine and it was delicious. And we had pizza ordered and it was funny. We're like, we're in the parking lot at Twisted Vine Brewery and they delivered it no problem. Yeah, we're like, go around the back. <laughs> Big RV, can't miss it. A beautiful location we stayed at was Diamond Bee Horse Motel, and that was in York, Nebraska. They had hookup for electricity. You know what's fun for me is when they say, turn down County Road, you know, XYZ, then make a right on the dirt road, and then follow it until you see the big red barn. I was like, oh yes, this is going to be exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, and it was a nice level dirt area in the driveway off to the side, so we weren't in anyone's way, and it was it was quiet and peaceful out there. It was We enjoyed that stay. Yeah, we have actually did a couple of social media posts while we were out there because it was just incredible, and the host was so awesome, and it was a full working farm and host horse motel. Yeah. So another cool adventure, something we'd have never seen. We stayed at Pals Brewing Company, and that was in Nebraska. It was really nice because it was a restaurant type yep. pizza place. They had outdoor uh, recreational activities. That place could have held 30 trailers. It was massive. Everybody had space. It was nice and peaceful and level. It was great. It was an awesome little place to hang out. Um, that was the one where we really, one of the coolest things we saw during that was the fireflies. Remember? Because oh, they yeah. were everywhere out there there was fireflies and i know some of y'all probably thinking you guys are simple yeah but when you live in alaska there's no fireflies y'all no that's called mosquitoes <laughs> yes. so and when we took callie for her evening stroll she enjoyed the fireflies she's like what is that it was so cute yeah um it was great so that was the day when we traveled chris was working so i just ordered some food walked over picked it up looked around and i was like wow this is a really neat place wish we could spend a little more time there we use a lot of our harvest host stays in between travel destinations mm -hmm. and it's just nice and relaxing because we're on the go and we don't have to stay hooked up to anything like you know going rv park to rv park so speaking of hookups one of the cool things that i find for the harvest host i would say 90 we'll go 99 percent of the time i'm able to leave the truck hooked up just put the stabilizers down and run out like in our case with the new paradigm we can just run out the bedroom slide and stay hooked up so it makes it really easy if you're just stopping for an overnight you can detach some of them tell you whether or not there's room for that but for me i love being able to pull up drop the stabilizers kick one slide out go to bed get up the next morning and hit the road it's you get to see something cool and it's super convenient although i will say warning sometimes most times <laughs> we spend more money at the boutiques and the shops and the restaurants than we would have at a ho at a um, RV park. But the journey and the adventure and the learning and the experience worth every dime of it. Absolutely. I, I agree 100% because we'll have bought things that we normally wouldn't have. And yeah, yeah it's great. 
a beautiful <laughs> place we stayed at, Lavender Crest Winery in Illinois. But let me tell you, when you go into the parking lot, you have to be careful. There's a lot of scrape marks. It's at an angle. So that's something else you need to be mindful of. Yeah, the entrance is kind of raised. So you got to be careful not to drag your trailer. And as long as you approach it appropriately, it wasn't a problem. Um, I will say one thing about Lavender Crest. There's a video here, here, there, wherever. Martha's got a video on that. The facility mm -hmm. was immaculate. The garden, what would, how would you explain the gardening? Oh gosh, very well maintained. We stayed there on Chris's birthday. We did wine tasting and we took a tour of the property. Chris has some amazing drone footage of that place. Yeah. We did have some other neighbors and we got to chit chat with them. It was mm -hmm. really cool because it's like the RV community in the wild. <laughs> Showing up at a winery wine tasting together. You can't ask for anything more than that. And the cool part about that one is we actually bought, I don't know, like four bottles of wine. And then at the rally up in Indiana last year, they had a wine contest, a tasting contest. And we entered two of the bottles. And guess what? One of them won. Yeah. And we found that by coincidence at this winery. Yeah, but we had to taste the wine first. To well, yes. Sure. It's called quality <laughs> control, folks. Yep. We got you. <laughs> Okay. Anything blackberry, I'm your man. Blackberry yeah. wine, oh my. <laughs> we do like fruity wines. <laughs> it was a beautiful, peaceful area. Um, the parking lot is where you stayed at, but they had us facing the vineyard. So that was definitely a really nice sight to see in the morning drinking our coffee. And yep. it was peaceful. Yep. It was quiet. So let's talk about Siri Vineyards in North Carolina. I loved duh, duh, it. It was amazing. You are up on the top of a mountain in North Carolina overlooking some of the most magnificent canyons. Just the views for days. Now, going in there scared the hell out of me. Yeah, so this girl had to spend a lot of time outside on the walkie-talkie with him saying, yep, you're good. Nope, go to the left. And the truth of the matter is, it was all up here, y'all. I had plenty of clearance, plenty of room, but you go in through this gorgeous grove of trees that overhang the road. There was plenty of clearance, but it's just, we were driving that big old Valor, and I'm like, oh God, I don't want to clip a tree and give my uh, trailer a headache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when we get in there, there was four other campers on this nice level um, gravel area. They were super friendly. We got to hang out, have a good time. The cool part about that winery is you can call ahead and coordinate with them and they'll actually leave wine chilled in a Yeti out back. So if you arrive after they close and you want to have wine and watch the sunset, two other campers did that. They walked around the back, there's a Yeti cooler with chilled wine, sit out and just watch the sunset over this magnificent I can't even explain how gorgeous that place was. It was absolutely gorgeous. We do have a video on that. There, there, there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it. Out of all the Harvest hosts I stayed at, I love that one the most. The people we met at the other ones were awesome. But for me, I'm a big mountain terrain outdoor guy. And that was just perfect for me. It was gorgeous. Their landscaping was beautiful inside the winery the wine tasting that was gorgeous it was huge they host a lot of events there yeah i think most wineries do or should <laughs> yeah absolutely it's a great place for weddings and birthdays and things like that and in the evening they turn the outside lights on on the patio they have some in the grass area and they have some on a concrete area covered with ceiling fans yeah and they're super nice about it like once they're closed and it's dark it's just you and the campers, and they're cool with you being on their grounds and wandering around. I mean, the biggest thing is just stay out of the building. It's locked because it's yeah. a retail store. But beyond that, it, it was awesome. It was yeah. fun. Oh, and they had Wi-Fi in their building. So the cell reception for us, and we have AT&T for our cell phones, did not work over there. Once we got to the building, and just on, even on the patio, they gave us a Wi-Fi code. And that was awesome because Chris was able to still continue work until he was off work. Yeah. <laughs> Until the sun went down. <laughs> mm -hmm. But they have incredible wine slushies. Just throwing that oh, out there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we definitely want to stay there again. Um, now that we're in the Paradigm, which is about 10 feet shorter on the outside, <laughs> we won't worry so much. There was no need to worry. You, I mean, we were <laughs> 45 feet long plus the truck. No problem getting in. No problem turning around. Definitely, so far, my favorite place. So we're staying at our very first... Boondockers Welcome right now. Yeah, Boondockers Welcome is a lot of family homes. Yep, 
And right now, it coincidentally happens to be a family that we know and they do boondockers welcome. So we're actually boondocking in their driveway. Cool part is 50 amp hookups and water. Yes. And it's a level concrete pad. Yeah, a really long driveway. It's kind of nice quiet street. It's gorgeous. The sun's yep. been shining. And we're in South Texas, y'all. I'm down by Houston. Can't complain. Yeah, since they are our friends, I mean, they've hosted a lot of barbecues since we've been here. They've been taking really good care of us, and they have a swimming pool. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, even Callie's got to go swimming, sunbathe. She loves it here. Yeah, don't overlook the Boondockers Welcome option because a lot of them are, as Martha said, families. And they're hosting at their beautiful homesteads or their homes or ranches, farms, and their communities. This one happens to be massive, so we've got our Paradigm, which is 38 feet, and right in front of us, they've got a 45-foot long Valor, a Lions Valor, and there's still room in front of that to yeah, park another car. Yeah, or a truck. A truck, yeah. yeah. So this is a cool opportunity. Don't overlook Harvest Host and Boondockers. Welcome. They give you some adventure locations. They are off the beaten RV path. And you get to meet some of the coolest people in America. And as Martha said, we do have a coupon code. Yes, we're affiliated with them, but we're only affiliated with them because we believe in what they're doing and the opportunities it presents. Yep. And I'm going to post the link down below for that 15% off your membership. Yep. Thank you for watching, y'all. Have a great time. Enjoy every moment.